Hello lovely people, Gerdy here. And I've been away for a while because I was on a retreat with lots of people who are what you may not think you are as well and who are what I for a long time thought I wasn't either. It's, uh, I'm talking in riddles here, I know. For a long time, I have been looking for a label that would fit the people I work with. Not because I necessarily want to label everyone and put everyone in one basket, but just because it makes it easier to explain to people who it is that I work with. Who are those people that are in my tribe? Who are the people that I work with? They are what I recently realized. What I am too. Non-conforming. Non-conforming individualists. And I never thought I was one. I thought I was an absolute rule follower because as I explained in other videos before this one I like rules I like rules that keep society running that make sure that we don't bash each other's head in I guess you could say I like rules that make sure that we behave with common decency and respect towards each other But there are rules that I think are silly or are just not my rules. I just didn't always recognize that I was living my life accordingly. Just to name a couple of things, very basic things. I used to work with a lot of construction firms and the drink to go there's two drinks really to go uh, that are go-to drinks in that world one is coffee and the other one is beer I don't drink either never did I tried both I like the smell of coffee actually freshly brewed coffee smells delicious I just don't like the taste of it and never thought never I never thought of or I never could see the logic in oh excuse me in learning to drink something that I didn't like same goes for beer that doesn't smell nicely but it does fall fall into the category of I don't like the taste of it so why should I learn to drink it hang on that's just a very basic example. Then there are more ex ah, more life defining rules. As a woman from my generation, you were expected by eh, not not explicitly, but. Uh, it was sort of expected that you would end up with a partner and have kids. I didn't end up with a car partner and I don't have kids. Um, and I could go on, but these are a couple of, oh, well, two really easy ones. Oh, excuse me. And one big one. Oh, uh, you were also expected to get a good education and then have a good career. I got both but got out and moved to Austria to become a coach and a mountain hiking guide and a ski instructor and a property manager. So that too 
makes me a non-conforming individualist. Now I looked up what non-conforming non-conformists are because you may think, wow, I ain't no non-conformist, but these are some of the other labels that fit a non-conforming person. Dissenter, a protester, a rebel, a renegade, a free thinker. I wrote them down because I couldn't remember them all. A heretic. Now that, that sounds a bit uh, serious, but there you are. Individualists. I already mentioned that one. Free spirits, mavericks, unorthodox, eccentric, never thought of myself as that, original, definitely, deviant, mm, sounds a bit negative to me, misfit, I often thought of myself as a misfit, I didn't really fit in with a lot of other people, outsider also, and the definition of all these people is basically people who don't conform to prevailing days uh, sorry to prevailing ideas and practices in their behavior or views now that most definitely is uh, me so if you are one of those if if one of those labels fits you you may actually be part of my tribe now what non-conforming individualists do I work with. Basically, they are hidden rule breakers, I could say. They are aware of the fact that something is chafing. They are aware of the fact that there's rules they are living by and roles they are, <coughs> excuse me, are fulfilling that aren't actually um, theirs. They abide by them and they play those rules because that's the way to apparently fit in to the community they work and live in. But it doesn't really sit right. They have a vision that is bigger or are different from the way they are living now. If they are business owners, they have a bigger vision for their business and they have, like the people who are non-conformists at heart but don't live it, those business owners have become stuck in the grind of daily life, in the grind of daily tasks and doings in the business. And it can be a challenge to give yourself permission to step out of that and um, take time to stop doing, to start being for a while, a couple of days maybe, longer if you can, but at least a couple of days. And you'd be amazed at how four days, five days of doing nothing can give you weeks if not months of inspiration that will grow your vision, that will nourish your vision. Basically, that will reignite your vision. And I understand that not everybody immediately can drop everything and take a week to actually do nothing, to step away from it all, to step away from work, to step away from the business, to step away from life to step away from all the things that all the noise that distract from reigniting that vision becoming inspired again having new ideas seeing fresh solutions to all the problems all those kinds of things and if you don't, it, I understand when that's not possible, where you cannot immediately step out for a longer than just a couple of hours. But even a couple of hours, go walking in the woods or go to the park, go to a place where you can actually disconnect completely from all that noise 
that is blocking the view towards your vision. And go for a walk. Put your phone on airplane mode. You better turn it off. Don't listen to music. Just pay attention to your surroundings. Let your mind flow. And you might you may be amazed how much more inspired you will be, how many more ideas you will have than when you remain stuck inside your office, stuck inside the house, whatever it is that you that you have to do, do in a normal day. I'd love I'd love to know when if some of you when some of you try this out go for a walk for an hour or even half an hour but truly disconnect do not check social media don't take any phone calls don't check your email truly disconnect especially when you're stuck with some kind of idea or you're you've had it up to here with meetings and problems that people keep bringing you especially then see what happens see how inspired you are when you get back so you non-conforming individualists renegades creatives visionaries mavericks free spirits as i said you may not have thought about yourself as someone who could have that label attached to them but when you look closely you may actually feel or discover that that label fits you to a T, as I have done. True, and to be honest, as I have done only recently. And uh, it's a label that only now I truly own. So from one non-conforming individualist to another. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.